Let me show you another um, small grocery haul. This this little bit of groceries was um, about $130, $133, I believe. A very small grocery haul. Um, I'm making something absolutely amazing for dinner tonight. I'm going to do smothered burritos, um, green smothered burritos with the uh, salsa verde. That's what we're having for dinner. I'm going to do a seasoned rice. Anyway, we'll get to that. $133. It's ridiculous. So I got some aluminum foil, two jars of salsa, some petite diced tomatoes, um, some chicken stock. I got Olivia, some strawberry and lemonade she loves. Napkins, three of the salsa verde. They had roasted um, and then the regular. This one is medium and that's mild, so I'm going to uh, mix it up a little bit there. Some cilantro, some onions. Look at my husband's Crocs. Two different, he's got two pair of Crocs. An orange pear and a green pear, so he mixes them up. But anyway, we're getting off topic. We're getting off topic. Um, two packs of Khan's hot dogs, only because they had these on sale. These are normally like four ninety five a pack. They had them for two something. Just a minute, Daisy. Um, so I thought I'd go ahead and get those and put those in the freezer because um, the holiday is coming up, Memorial Day weekend. Um, so we'll definitely use those. Um, I got two packs of the tortillas, tor tortillas, uh, two taco seasonings, some sour cream, some eggs, and there's that delicious cake I made um, the other day, some bacon, only because they had that on sale. I did not need that this week. Saved some money on that. Some ground chuck. Got to have my trusty bologna. I love me some bologna. Two uh, limes, an uh, avocado, some coffee loaf of bread, jalapenos, some rice, um, because I'm going to make rice with my stuffed burritos today, two um, packs of the Monterey Jack Cheese, some sharp cheddar, because I'm going to shred those over my burritos, a lettuce they had on sale um, for like $1.29, so that was a pretty good deal, it's usually like $3. Some jalapenos, I got about five Roma tomatoes in there, five or six. I'm going to make some pico de gallo to go with my dinner. And then I got three packs of chicken thighs. One I'm going to boil for my dogs today, cook for my dogs. And then the other two I'm going to make with my dinner. So I'm going to, I want you to look at this. That's it, guys. That is it. 130 some dollars. Am I going to continuously do these little grocery hauls before my videos? No. The only reason why I've done this one is because um, it's frustrating. It's just so frustrating. But I just wanted to show you that. Um, that's all I got. $133, $134. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. And mainly it's just the things that I've um, bought to cook for dinner tonight. I got a few other extra things um, that we needed. And that's it. But, you know, in saving grace, I was really happy that the eggs have gone down. I think I um, only paid like $1.98 for those eggs, which is made me really happy. So anyway, what we're doing today, let me tell you what we're doing. I tell you, it's like today is just keeps getting uh, stranger and stranger. I don't know. I don't know. I'm glad I stopped and got me some coffee from McDonald's on the way home. But we're going to be making some um, smothered chicken burritos today. The green verde verde the green verde chicken burritos we're also going to do um some beef burritos the same way as well with a verde sauce um give a little bit extra um you know variety there so you know we can have uh like the uh chicken and a beef smothered burrito i don't know these are going to be pretty big so one might be enough but you know what i can i can make this into two dinners um there'll be plenty of leftovers obviously so you know what i work tomorrow they can have them for dinner tomorrow for lunch and breakfast what have you so that way the grocery bill won't seem as bad we're gonna go ahead and get started on the chicken and get the chicken started i bought chicken thighs for that boneless attention I hope they're boneless I know they're skinless but I definitely wanted skinless chicken thighs if you wanted to do sh to use chicken breast with this you certainly could but you know chicken breast it tends to dry out the darker meat the thighs 
are much better for this because they, you know, it, you can't overcook them. It's just, I, it's just like you can't mess them up. So I'm going to get my chicken started now. I'm going to cook it in some seasoning. I'm going to cook it in a package of the, um, and let me show you. I'm gonna go ahead and, and cook it in some taco seasoning. I'm gonna put them in water and just boil them. Just boil them. Um, if you wanted to air fry them, bake them, whatever, you go ahead. <clears throat> but I think when you boil um, meats, chicken, um, anything, you know, when you're like braising it or whatever, it is, it seems like it's so much better. I just think so, I, I as far as the tenderness. Now, I may or may have not tore my little, um, water system up that I uh, we have one of those water dispensers that you can get hot or cold water out of you know by aqua falls or what have you so I try to take them the empty one off and somehow I pulled like the big I don't know the bucket thing that goes into it so I'm really hoping I didn't tear it up so we're using bottled water and I use bottled water because I have well water, and well water sucks. Let me tell you, it sucks. I don't like to cook it. I put in just enough water in there to cook the chicken, um, which should take probably about, uh, I don't know, about 45 minutes or so to cook. And I'm just going to add this taco seasoning in there. We're just making it super easy today. Now, if you uh, prefer to make your own taco seasoning, you go right ahead. But for me, this is going to be so simple. And what's going to happen is that water is going to, as it boils, it's all going to um, concentrate with this delicious seasoning. It's going to make the chicken nice and seasoned. We're going to go ahead and put this on the stove to boil. We're going to bring it to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, we're going to turn it down, place the lid, just kind of cocked, you know, sideways on it, let the steam um, release from it so it don't boil, so it don't cook over, and we're going to cook it till it's nice and done. If you are new here, I have made this, uh, what is this, pico de gallo on my channel um, so many times, but I'm just going to quickly walk you through what um, I like to put in mine if I'm, uh, when I make it. That way you don't have to go search for it. How's that? Uh, but I usually dice up onions, which I've already got some diced here, and I've got in my bowl um, some tomatoes. I usually put a half of a jalapeno uh, pepper in there, one of the longer ones, the fresh jalapenos, uh, you know, the ones that you buy over in your produce, not the jarred ones. I also usually put... Um, what else do I put in there? Maybe a clove of garlic or so. Um, a little bit of lemon, or I'm sorry, lime juice and cilantro. And I usually add salt to mine. I love this stuff. This knife is so dull. I need a knife, new knife set. Badly. Badly, badly. Look at that. I can't hardly cut. You know, they say dull knives are uh, more dangerous than sharp knives. I don't know. I guess I could do some damage with either either one. All right, very simple, very easy. It's a big piece. Look at that. See, it didn't even cut that. Look at my new gadget. Got that at the dollar store for a dollar. That chicken smells so good. All right, let's put this in a bowl. I might have to chop a little bit more onions. Lord, I hope not. I'll just put it all in there. I hate chopping onions. They're so strong anymore. I think that's going to be enough. Let me wipe this up. I got a mess. My chicken's over there just to cooking away. It smells so good. I got the dog's chicken cooking. I always cook my dog's um, chicken to go in their morning meals, their breakfast. Let me turn it down. Let me let me look at the ratio of onions and um, tomatoes. You know what? I think that might be good. Let me tell you, the cilantro was looking a little under the weather today. All right. It's gotta be easier to take some scissors, right? I 
I like a lot of cilantro in mine. I always put a little bit of onion salt in there. Did I mention that? Because I don't think... I like mine a little salty. Word of the wise, don't chop cilantro with wet hands. Super easy making this. You know, um, I remember growing up my, um, when we go to Kentucky, my family's from Kentucky, my mom, my dad. I was born and raised here in Ohio, but I remember going down there. I have fond memories of my um, childhood when we go to Kentucky and visit my family. Uh, I don't know if you know this, but I may have told, you know, some of you probably know this because I've told, told, um, you know, all my people that have been with me for a while. That's all the chocolate I'm doing. Um, but my mother, my mother was one of 17 children. So she had 16 brothers and sisters. I forget where I was going with this. Oh, but I have like super fond memories of going down there because we had so many cousins. I'm just washing my hands. Um, so many cousins and we couldn't wait for them to come over. We'd play Red Rover and we just played. We had a good time. My um, grandma had a creek in her backyard. Well, back her property. And we would go out there, my sister um, and all my cousins, and the ones that would come over, and we would um, hunt crawdads. Did you see that right after I just cleaned all that up? Look at that up. We'd hunt crawdads in that creek. Um, we played, oh my goodness, we would play from daylight tool dark i had so many cousins i'm gonna put some onion salt in it i like to put onion salt in it oh i know what i was telling you i swear i get so side i get so sidetracked i remember when um when my mama would cook not um the one i was just talking about that one my, that was my mom's mom my dad's mom, I remember when she would cook, she had, look at that, how many times I always put those um, stickers in there. She always had her a bowl sitting out that she would put, this is a lime, squeeze some lime juice in there. She had a bowl that she would she sat sitting on the back of the counter that she threw all of her garbage in um, but it wasn't really garbage it was stuff uh, that could be thrown out to the chickens which I don't think you could throw onions or jalapenos out to them but she would take that bowl at the end of the day the end of the evening and they would toss it over to the chickens whatever was in there I think it was like scraps or something I don't know I have fond memories of childhood down there. I wish, you know, sometimes I wish I would have, um, let me try this. Bless America. Look, I done it again. I wish I would have been raised in, um, Kentucky, which, it's okay. It's okay. My mom and dad talked, uh, many times. I remember, too about moving down there. We did own a property down there. And we had talked um, about going and moving down there, but it never happened. Mmm. Mmm. Ma'am. I feel like I'm missing something. I feel like I'm missing something. 
put a little bit more onion salt. All right, we're gonna put a lid on this and put it in the refrigerator. You see that? There he is. Watching his mama. How you doing, baby? How you doing, baby? We see mama cooking. All right, my meat's almost done. My chicken's almost done. So what I'm gonna do is I've turned it up because I want that um, deliciousness. I want all this water, or, or the majority of this uh, seasoned taco seasoned water to um, cook out of it. By the time the chicken is completely done, a lot of that should be absorbed into the chicken. And you know, all that taco seasoning, that's flavor, is gonna go right into that chicken. Just kind of shredding it up with my little um, meat masher. That's all you do. I've got about a pound. It's actually, it's uh, one and a third pound of ground chuck here. I like to use ground chuck. You all know that already. So much, so much more flavor. We're going to add this to our um, skillet here. Oh, it's a piece of plastic. And then we're just going to we're gonna break this up a bit. And we're just going to fry this up. cooked and drained and ready to go back into my pan now we're going to add one pack of the taco seasoning and then we're going to add some water I always add more water um, in my taco meat than what it calls for because when it's nice and stewy looking like that all of the flavors absorb into that meat once all that um, liquid is cooked up. I just cook it until the liquid's gone. When you thought you brought the burrito shells, but you buy the soft taco shells. Hmm, we're gonna have to make this work, aren't we? All right, so it's time to start wrapping these burritos. I can't believe I've done that. Oh well, they're a nice size. They're not burrito size, but they're a nice size. So let's go ahead and get these started. We're gonna start with the chicken. Now my chicken cooked probably for about, you know what, I'm gonna have to not do these like fat just because of that. See how nice and seasoned that chicken looks let's go down a little bit i'm gonna have to try to wrap these might be trial and error with them being um you know so small and i'm gonna add there's my spoon i bought some of the i don't know what just fell off of it some of the tostada uh, home restaurant style salsa. This is so good. Tostitos, not tostada. I'm just going to put one little spoon full on each. We're not going to put any cheese or anything in it because we're going to do that. Let's see. I don't know, guys. Oh, that'd be all right. That'd be okay. They're just going to be small. And we're going to place them right inside my sprayed pan. I'm going to need another pan. We're going to do the chicken, and then we're going to do the beef the same way. I'm going to try to put a little bit more chicken in these. That's a lot of chicken. It's a lot more than I thought it was going to be. That's okay. You know why? If I don't wrap them all up, then I'm going to put, I can freeze that chicken. I just want to make sure that I'm careful. Man, I'm not a burrito wrapper.
supposed to make it look easy for you, ain't I? Make sure you put the seam side down. And your, and your pan there. Okay, these are chicken and these are beef back here. But this little rogue one right here is a beef as well. Oh, mercy. Now, I'm going to... Um, oh. two different ones. This is the um, roasted salsa verde and this is the mild. I'm going to mix these together. Oh, look at that. You know, that's going to be good. It's nice and chunky. Because I don't really care for some being mild and some not being mild. You know what I'm saying? I'm just going to spoon that right over top. Can you see? I don't even know if you can see. I'm all flustered now that I, I bought soft taco shells instead of burrito shells. We're going to have to rename this. And again, make sure that you place your um, burritos slash soft tacos seam side down because you don't want all your meat coming out. Just spoon it right over. See, I shredded my own cheese. This is the Monterey Jack, um, and this is just the sharp cheddar. And we're just going to go right over top. from that we are going to put these in the oven um 350 degrees for about 15 20 minutes till the cheese is nice and melted i am stressed out making this you guys Stressed out, and I also cut up an avocado um, to go with it. And there's sour cream and jalapenos, and got the works. Mmm, mmm, that is good. Mmm, try some. That chicken is so tender. So good. I hope you like this recipe. I hope you give it a try soon. You know I love you guys very much. I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye. Take care.